It's the first day of the seal hunt. The IFA seal team is here in Newfoundland. We're getting ready to head out uh, into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Um, not really sure what to expect. I always like to think that every year will be the last year and that we won't have to go back. Back when there was good ice, we used to land because that was, you know, that was the easiest way to document the hunt. In recent years, we've had to use these uh, Cineflex cameras. It's a camera mounted on the outside of the helicopter, and we can film from up in the air. And basically, we had to move to that system because there literally wasn't enough ice that we could land on. And also, there's more shooting done out here. And obviously, being on the ice when shots are being fired is not a desirable situation to put your team into. opening day of the commercial seal hunt in the northern Gulf of St. Lawrence. Um, a few weeks ago there was supposed to be a hunt in the southern Gulf, but it was a bit of a bust. Only five boats went out and not many seals were killed. I'm hoping the same thing happens here again today. Unfortunately, the province of Newfoundland announced last week a bailout of $3.6 million for the sealing industry. Um, they, they say this is a loan to encourage uh, sealers to go out and kill seals so that they can be stockpiled in case market demand arises in the future for seal products. Yeah, that's the Coast Guard boat. Where, where's that in relation to where we are now, Chris? Looks like it just about off at 12 o'clock, okay. slightly to the uh, left of where we're traveling. I feel that too. Yeah, we've just come across our first sealing boat. Uh, he's not actively hunting right now, just kind of going along the edge of the ice pan. He's uh, dragging a little skiff behind him. If there's a beater seal on the edge of the ice, he's going to be a really easy target for these hunters. They're uh, steaming towards it as quickly as they can. They've been shooting at it. Oh, he's trying to escape in the water. Oh, shot. He's been shot. I've got a, a little table on the back of the boat that uh, I'll be using to pelt the skin, to pelt the seal. Placing it open down the belly now. Our documentation activity is one of the more expensive parts of this campaign. However, it has been crucial in getting trade bans on seal products. If it weren't for IFA here documenting the seal hunt, the Government of Canada says the hunt is humane. They say it's well regulated. They say there's no problem. But we know because we're here documenting. We have the video evidence to show that it is not humane. It's not well regulated. Even with the increased subsidy from the Government of, of Newfoundland announced last week, $3.6 million to a processing company in order that they can buy pelts. There's still very few boats out here. In fact, we only saw two boats at all this morning. So for a boat that got two seals in about an hour, for five guys on the boat, that's $54. That's not even really going to cover the fuel that it would take them to get out to the ice this year. I feel bad for the guys down there um, feeling in a way because they shouldn't have to do this. This shouldn't continue. Steelers deserve better. Newfoundlanders deserve better. 